supply chain managers and their procurement officers have been in a blanket manner been profiled as exceedingly corrupt. And that is not the case. It is true. <laughs> like every other sector, there are few rogue procurement officers, maybe 5%, who are involved in corruption, who are involved in interfering with the tendering process, who are involved in theft of public funds. But there is another 95% of serious professionals <laughs> who are patriotic and who work professionally for their country and for the benefit of society. So we want to call upon everybody not to have a blanket condemnation of an entire sector. Let people be known by name and by where they work. And I want to say, I have seen many times procurement officers being unfairly targeted for no good reason without sufficient cause of action. Most of cases that were filed by the previous administration against procurement officers, against finance officers, against PSCs, 90% of them have collapsed for lack of evidence. Others are being withdrawn because they cannot meet the threshold. And I would like to take this opportunity to urge our investigative agencies, the ESCC, the DCI, to recruit pro procurement professionals to be investigators, <laughs> to help them in investigations. Most of these policemen are clueless about, about procurement. You know? And they have basically no idea. In fact, they are motivated by big figures. It reached a time in this country where any procurement that was of a large figure was deemed to be a corrupt procurement, irrespective of the merits or the demerits of the due process. Procurement is about due process. Investigators can only investigate a matter to do with procurement when they understand the whole cycle of the procurement. And I'm calling upon the ACC, advertise for professionals who are supply chain managers. They'll apply and become your investigators. And then they can help you 